times like this where the internal soundtrack in my mind starts playing Rambling Man by the Almond Brothers. <laughs> then of course it's always fun to show a camera in somebody's face as soon as they wake up. <laughs> where are we and what are we doing? majestic out here and it's in a it's in a field now the downside is I think we're gonna have to walk to it and it's about three quarters of a mile carrying gear that's definitely a downside now, so I don't know what the deal is on that but uh, the other downside is we're going on posted land and could possibly be shot well so if you find this video <laughs> found footage found footage Here's the thing. Uh, Edit all these behind the scenes together. And here's got the thing. Found do you have anything to leave a note with? Because we actually do have permission. It's permission that I got some time ago that said, go shoot up there anytime you want. And that is from the land manager, Gus Shad, who also happens to be our landlord. Leave a note at 6.50 in the morning. Yeah, just leave my name and number and say we have permission from Gus Shad to do some photography out here. Hey, street, but let's carry some shit a long way. Okay. That'll be fun. So, uh, what we're doing right here is filming an epic sunrise for the closing shot. And, uh, dude, I'm going to just go ahead and throw it out there. That looks amazing. Check this out. Uh, behind the scenes GoPro camera. Check this out. You might catch it on the GoPro. Look at that. You can catch it right there, can't you? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm flatly amazed that we actually got out here before sunrise by like one minute. Uh, Five minutes. The drone almost uh, perfectly planned. Oh, there it is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, sunrise. Hello, Mr. Sun. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> the earth says hello. So That's what, all we can use of that without being sued. The good news is, you know, with the drone, well, there's all kinds of good news when you're, when you're a filmmaker. Uh, you're not sitting on your ass talking about the great American northwestern drama <laughs> that you're gonna make when you have a budget you know budget's a funny thing it's like you can wait for that budget but that's just like uh, the guy that waits a budget is like a woman <laughs> <laughs> <Elusive>. <laughs> oh my gosh 
just when you think you got it all figured out, <laughs> it all takes a left turn on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one day you're all like, I'm dating a stripper. <laughs> Next day you're all like, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> Shoot what we can shoot. Heck yeah, man. Because uh, <clears throat> some of us have to go to work today. Yeah, some of us do. <laughs> yep. This is, a, this is an epic location. I wish I, we had the time to see if you actually, we, we were going to walk over there. I tried to talk street boy into walking over there with the actual film camera that we're using, the 70D. And, uh, but it's like another, it's like uh, the better part of a mile of humping it around this corner, which kind of follows the ridge line. And that's what we did when we were able to drive out there. Not opposed to it um, if that's what we were actually going to use, but we're going to use this, so well, that's, that's, I am therefore opposed to it. Well, that's the funny thing. You never know what you're going to use till you get in there, but I'll do, I do think this will definitely work unless I have drastically screwed up the shot. It looks pretty good on here. Um, that's if we're working with it in, in, in silhouette, and I think I want to do it again once the sun is up, you know, to have that as an option because it's the whole point is to show that they're you well, know like, i was just thinking they could be look, looking back at the sun as opposed to looking this way because that the sunrise and all but um you're like hey we're not burning up you know i'm giving away a major spoiler there but then again all this behind the scenes is spoilerific so i'm not that's why i'm not putting it out there except for the casting crew right now um so if you're seeing this either it's long debuted or you run the casting crew, so thanks very much. We appreciate the help, and uh, we'll take all that we can get. I was, I was actually remarking it was a perfect day to shoot this, except for we didn't have our EPK guy, Robert Herr, with us. So it would have been a lot better because I wouldn't have had to bother. Man, every time I look at the sun, I'm seeing spots, you know? Yeah, we're technically not supposed to stare at the sun. The sun so. Yeah, that's what we say. That's what we say. Man, the lighting is just sweet right now. I'm going to take some pictures. Pictures. I will be taking those with a drone, but right now it's otherwise engaged. By the way, this is the um, Phantom 4. Is so you taking, <laughs> I'm trying to take a filming, taking a picture? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm filming myself taking a picture. Is this meta film. enough for you? This is the problem with modern filming. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's too bad this portrait boy is really cool, but you can't take it of yourself because you got to be eight feet away. If I put the camera here, it can make your arm super long. <laughs> here, check it out. Wait, 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 here you go. <laughs> it's larger than your whole body. Are, are you are you are you into Plastic Man? With, uh, or is it Mr. Because Plastic Man isn't it on Flash? Plastic Man. I haven't been watching it, but I know who Plastic Man is. Of well, I have the latest episode on, on the old recording. I'm ready to check that out for sure. But uh, oh, we didn't even look this how, how cool the sunrise. It's such a stark line that you don't you don't see that very often where the sunrise creates like such a stark shadow like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, our shadows are right anyway, there on the trees. Look at that. Uh, you come see back our shadows on the tree. Look at that. Oh, we're giants. Look. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I just now noticed that. Thanks for pointing that out. Now I'm feeling even more. <laughs> wow. Actually, 
this right here would be an amazing spot to do a music video. Can you imagine having a full band? You start rocking out, the sun comes up. Of course, you'd have a really long song to fully get that effect, but uh, it's like glowing. <laughs> this looks like somebody the new lighting really set this up. <laughs> awesome. All right, then we'll uh, we'll say goodbye to uh, Uncle Strebo and. That's, that'll be it for the, that'll be it for the behind the scenes. <laughs> Go ahead and give me the voiceover for your uh, your South Park version. Always <laughs> <laughs> using uh, poor bastard. Must see I caught out here in the sunlight. That ain't good. <laughs> Well, hell yeah! I have one or two good lines in it. I like the less you know, the faster. You I feel sorry for them. They look so sad. I mean, you think I hadn't seen, heard every line of dialogue like that's, 50 me, times that's, this that's week? That's my fly line. To be, uh, be afraid, be very afraid. So I gotcha. You know, the faster you can run. That's a pretty cool tagline. That's, I don't think I've heard that one before. Yeah, I don't think I have either. It looks like we're on a slant, but I don't know if that, that might just be me. It looks like the gimbal is on a slant, but maybe it's not. It's all in my mind. Well, anyway, we just finished. Well, my mind is slanted without a doubt. So we just finished up the uh, drone footage and went ahead and shot some footage with the primary camera to uh, create our closing shot with the big, I don't know if you call it a twist, but the big reveal at the end. And uh, once again, Todd dies at the end. <laughs> or just before the end is accomplished. Todd is not in it. <laughs> Todd is not in it. I like these big old trees. Bring that character back, though. Hey, you know, I could use him as the junkie informant in the superhero short. That totally works. He could be crazy <laughs> Todd. Hey, look at that tree. It's on a wicked slant. I may have to deal with him as an actor, though. Well, as long as sometimes he's... that's good, sometimes that's not good. Man, you know, I told, I've told Todd this to his face many occasions. He's a great actor as long as I let him play himself, an exaggerated version of himself, because then it's not really acting. He don't have to learn those lines. He lived it. He lived it. Look at this place, man. It's beautiful out here. Crazy Todd. That's the only thing I really truly love about Buddy Rose, Todd being a like uber redneck and saying things like, uh, "You like TVs?" <laughs> or, uh, "I ain't gonna rash you." No, it, yeah, it was funny. It was, it was it's supposed to be scary. It turned out being a comedy. I think she's back to using her name now. But yeah, she did do a good job. I was surprised. So that's the secret of independent filmmaking. Just don't use actual actors. Just people that want to be actors. <laughs> <laughs> you have to intermi intermix actual actors with amateurs. But they have to be amateurs with passion. That's what... Well, you said it. That's what makes it work. That, that's the only reason we're making movies today, man. It ain't because we got money. It's because we got passion. Or as the Italians say, la passion. Or is that Spanish? <laughs> Yeah, but you know, the upside is, this is a cool story you can tell later. Man, you remember that time we had to get up? I can't believe we got up at 6.30 in the morning, went out freezing cold hilltop. I was cold from Grant, I was sick all week. <laughs> when, I, when I do my master thesis on filmmaking, it's gonna be this stuff that I talk about. Like, yeah, I know what I was doing Sunday morning at, 6.30 a.m. What were you doing? You know, one thing that I did forget to mention is that it's three weeks past the um, initial active production of the film, and this is just the kind of things that we, we have to um, strive to, to keep doing until every last shot is in the bag. So, you know, you saw that at uh, 6 a.m. we're out shooting the pickup shot, and now I'm going to call good old Todd, who's had some struggles on this particular shoot, and see if he's able to come and basically play 
this is my co co-director right here we're going to see if he's able to come and play uh, one of the blinders for us and shoot green screen elements which would connect to what we shot out in the field uh, on the horizon the blinders sort of revealing themselves to be immune to daylight um, instead of trying to truck out you know 30 40 people out there we ended up uh, deciding to use a cinematic digital element you know if possible to have the actors sort of act on a green screen and then we're going to composite that as many times as we need to so this will involve one person playing the blinder over and over in different uh different costumes and doing slightly different movements and then if that is not sufficient we may actually resort to digital assets meaning just completely animated figures um there, there's a good argument for both in some cases but hopefully we won't have to resort to digital because you know there's always the chance that it'll take people out of it so hopefully we'll be able to get it done with uh, the actual actor and hopefully todd will be available today um if not today then when because we're trying to get a work print done by december 1st so we can submit to nevermore hopefully that'll happen so wait and see